This patient is a 27-year-old male with right ankle pain and swelling after basketball injury. MRI examination of the right ankle shows um, sprain of the deep deltoid ligament. There is edema within the uh, anterior and posterior tibiotalar ligaments as seen on these images with red arrows. The anterior superficial uh, fibers of the deltoid ligament are intact. There is a reactive edema within the uh, medial malleolus and medial talus at the deltoid ligament attachment sites as indicated by white arrows. There, the anterior talofibular ligament is also torn with a stump of torn tissue seen anteriorly on this image with blue arrow. There is small impaction injury along the inferior talar head as seen on this image. The MR findings are consistent with the deltoid ligament sprain for, or partial tear as well as anterior talofibular and calcaneo uh, fibular ligament tear. The medial or deltoid ligament complex attaches to the apex of the medial malleolus and consists of superficial and deep portions. The superficial part is formed by the tibionavicular, tibiocalcaneal, tibiospring, and superficial posterior tibiotalar ligaments. The deep part is intraarticular and is formed by the anterior tibiotalar and posterior tibiotalar ligaments. The posterior tibiotalar ligament is the strongest part and the tibiocalcaneal and tibionavicular are the weakest parts of the deltoid ligament complex. Medial ankle sprains are less common than lateral ankle sprains and account for 10 to 15 percent of injuries. Patients are usually 15 to 35 years of age, presenting with anterior medial or medial pain and swelling with possible ecchymosis. Deltoid ligament injuries are rarely isolated and are associated with ankle fractures, abduction, deep deltoid injury, external rotation, anterior deltoid injury, or aversion injuries.